Hello YouTubers, today or tonight, whenever you're watching us, I am filming this at nighttime. And if you guys couldn't tell by the title of the video, and um, yeah, I am doing a review on the 1966 Batman Complete Series. I bought it last night. I basically, honestly, I have not, so far, I have only know two and a half episodes so far working, and I'm pretty sure if two and a half episodes are working so far, the whole complete series will. Um... Before I bought this, I actually watched, seen different scenes from different episodes here and there of every villain and every scene of the Batman and Robin, a little bit of the Batgirl. Um, I went back and forth, back and forth with this Batman. I'm like, don't want to add this Batman to my collection. Probably be a good idea, but now, okay, there's something I gotta get off my chest. Barrett, Kevin, I get it, especially Kevin, honestly, my uncle, <laughs> this is his childhood show that he grew up with of Batman. Okay, yeah, I get it. Came out in 1966. It's freaking cheesy as hell. Pow, pow, kaplam. The Batman I grew up with, yeah, yeah, you basically know is everybody knows is um uh for, uh with this Batman. All four of these, all the way down to Ben Affleck's Batman. Every time when I try to watch this Batman, it's hard not to make fun of it. It really is. Okay, the first thing I gotta say Adam West, Adam West. As a Batman. As his Batman. I do gotta say he is more better as Batman. Than I actually ever saw him in his other. Um, side. F jobs. Like Family Guy. Okay. Family Guy. When I see him, in well, when I'm hearing him through his character on Family Guy, I'm like, my God, what an idiot! Not trying to mean. I I know the guy did, and I, and I like him as a Batman. I really do. Uh, he just agitates me on Family Guy. He is such. But, Batman, his Batman, he is somewhat smart. Not great with the riddles, as I completely tried to keep my mouth shut through the whole first two episodes. Uh, I'm like, seriously, okay, he got the Bruce Wayne face. He got the action. He got the freaking chin for Batman. But Robin is getting all the riddles. Before Batman. Seriously. That's not normal. I do love this Batman TV series. Will I watch like year by year by year order? No. I will not. Basically, by my ranking Batman... Actors, okay, that's how it goes. 
Adam West Batman. He is a good Batman. I will admit that. But Adam West Batman. All the way on the bottom. All the way. Well, okay. I can't really say. I can't really say all the way on the bottom because he, Adam West Batman and Ben Affleck's Batman is like tied between each other with me. My first favorite is, uh, I want to say Michael Keaton. If I got that, his name right. Yeah, Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton is my first favorite Batman. Anyway, because it was my first Batman I ever saw as a child. Second of all, uh, I thought he was the only Batman until I actually found out Adam West played Batman first. I actually saw what Adam West brought to the table and I'm like... Okay, no offense, Uncle Kevin. Your fucking Batman is cheesy as hell. Uh, that that's that's no Batman to me. If you actually, I told him when I was young. If you show even now generations, what Adam was Batman acted like, they would look at you and say that's no Batman. This is Batman. But. I do like the actor that plays the Joker. He, I, I do like how they portrayed the Joker in the series and the actor who played him. Uh, Catwoman, I can't re really remember. Most of the villains, I can't really remember of how the actors portrayed the villains. The Riddler, if he didn't laugh so much like the freaking Joker... I wouldn't say, gee, what character is he playing? The Riddler? Because he is throwing out riddles. Or is he the Joker? Because he's laughing so much. Like a freaking Joker. But, overall point, I give Adam West's Batman the cheesiest freaking... And once again, I know it came out in 1966, but, and the Incredible Hulk, but the Incredible Hulk came out in 1977, and that was actually not cheesy. So, but, I give this... Mm, the complete series. Three out of ten. Three out of ten. And the only reason why I'm doing Batman reviews. The only reason why I am doing Batman reviews. Is because I am gonna go see the new Batman movie in theaters. Not this Friday. Obviously, not tomorrow, but next weekend. I might see it next Friday or next Saturday. Depends what's on my schedule. And I found this at Walmart last night as well for me to wear the go see the movie. So, and uh, but uh, if you guys saw me. On Facebook and Instagram, you guys would know I would start doing Batman reviews uh, by today, or at least I would try to. Um, but if you don't, type it. Uh, and if you have a Facebook and Instagram, go ahead and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. All you have to do is just type in Dylan, D Y L L I O N, space B U E L B U. Um. So yeah, drop your comments down below. What's your favorite Batman? Is it Adam West? 
Is it Michael Keaton? Uh, I want to say... Christopher Nolan? Christian... Christian Bale. Chris, is it Michael Keaton? <clears throat> Sorry. Is it Adam West? Michael Keaton? Uh, hang on, I'll skip a few others. Um, uh, it, 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 basically, who's your favorite Batman from Adam West's Michael Keaton, uh, F Batman Forever, Batman and Robin, the Christian Bale trilogy, the, uh, animated series slash the Arkham games. Because the actor uh, plays the voice for Batman in an animated cartoon. Also does the Batman voice for the Batman video game. Uh, or is it, um, uh, or do you like the kid who played Bruce in Gotham? Or do you like Ben Affleck's Batman? And what are you hoping to see Robert Pattinson's Batman put on the table that the other Batman actors could not put on the table? Like this video? Drop a comment down below what you all uh what what you did like from the Adam West's Batman TV series. What you didn't like. So. Peace.